last week on the season. Put together what we've been working towards all season. And it's all about us. We've seen it okay, every week this season. The biggest thing that stood out to me is just his knowledge of the game. And I think that that really sets him apart. His knowledge is like the best football mind I've ever been around. And we are equipped with everything we need to go be successful. We have that already. It's up to us to tap into that, though. At the end of the day, no matter what the circumstances are, okay, know how bleak it may look, okay, we're in a position where you can be successful because we're equipped with everything we need, all right? Daniels out of the pocket. He's going to try and run for it. Breaking tackles. Oh, is out. Harris makes a man miss. Painter, touchdown. Throws toward the back of the end zone. The pass is going to be deflected and incomplete. It's there over. is no flag. Ole Miss over. has won. The game-winning touchdown versus LSU isn't the only thing Trey Harris gifted the community of Oxford this week. All right, y'all, it's Trey Harris here, and we at Lafayette Elementary School. We're going to read to some of the little kiddos today, you know, get back to the community, get to connect with all the kids, you know. Hello. I'm good. I feel like I'm back in school again. <laughs> y'all ready for me to read to y'all today? A is for alumni. Some are famous and some are not, but lots of love for Ole Miss is something they all have got. C is for Chucky Mullins. No kin to Chuck E. Cheese at all. He's a great inspiration to Rebels who play football. Y'all like Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. You like Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. <laughs> How Hottie Toddy got started is still a mystery, but it's becoming a lasting part of Ole Miss history. U is for the University of Mississippi State. A Mississippi, oh God. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're saying the wrong school out here, dog. Oh. He's going to cut that out. Oh, yeah, cut that one out, please. Yeah, reading points, all that. AR books, the scholastic fairs, and all that I used to go to. It's good to see all the little kids. They all were starstruck, but it's fun. <laughs> Music teacher, my favorite teacher ever. That's why I learned the recorder. You know, Ms. Richard, shout out to you. W is for the Walk of Champions, the Rebels take through the Grove. Now you know all about Ole Miss from A to Z. Are you ready to be a rebel just like me? I'm a football player. <laughs> Y'all yeah, could be football players. Hey, no fun. Bye y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs> it was a good little experience though. I like this. Great day to give back to everybody. Great back, great day to have to uh, really come back to the fans, especially, you know, really appreciate them for all the support. I uh, haven't been here long in Oxford. All I can say is see y'all on the field soon. And number nine, signing out. I got a mic. I got a mic. I got a battery in my dog. No. Right. I swear, to God. swear to God. God, it's me. What up, coach? Are you a great one, homeboy? Yes, sir. Dog. Love you more, coach. All right, so you got to push him in that guy. Dot me up. <laughs> hey, what you You just cheated, bro. Quick, 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 quick. You. Yeah, you definitely had stuff, but you know I play from under. Act dark. Pull though. I play. You pull. And I'm you in. Pull. in. You, so that play. pull, they not seeing that. I'm gonna block. Bro, Lane Kiffin, then this four play and one play off. Bro, that was just a play, bro. Boy, that was just. Oh, yeah. See, I, I'm not a dancer, bro. Good pack, Grease. I'm a dancer, singer. Really, all of it. Really I know. You very talented, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Why they on me, bro? I heard you mic'd up, man. Bro, I'm the cool one, bro. What that mean? Hey, bro, what that mean? Bro, why, 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 
<laughs> yeah, you might <laughs> Look, you see that? Yeah, he don't want to play with Big Dog. <laughs> oh yeah, we we normally do this, man. We love bowling. That's why I already know I'm ready to win. You gotta get some hard pulling. Season part two, baby. <laughs> yeah, we finna go bowling, man. We just having a good time, man. How much push-ups we bet? 50 on command. 50 on command? Y'all heard that? 50 on command is today. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite thing about this bowling alley. The green shoes. How much? 50 push-ups? Bet. Bet. He got 60 on them. Hey, you bowling with us, right? Let me see some. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, this is going to be a good day. I got Drew, Daddy, and DeMarco for the push-ups. For sure. Oh, no. I'm going to you with me. Oh, no. See, I got 13. I'm at the bottom. I can only go to the top. They always count us out. We're going to get right though. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm tripping right now. Hey. You gotta cut that one. 16 rolls to roll the strike. That's terrible. Why he hate? The win is A. I'm not coming in last four. I told y'all, let's go. We ain't even at halftime yet. We ain't even, I ain't even made my adjustments yet. I'm making them though. I'm making them. I feel it. We here. We truly love each other. We truly here for one another. And we know we got to play for each other. Like, I got to count on every single last one of them Saturday, man. We ready to go. We ready to go. For sure. For sure. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Hey, go, go, go pay for some more time. Go pay for some more time. We just need a quick turn. Come on. You came in last? Who was in that last four? Why well, Marco the only one doing push-ups? I'm going to do my push-ups because I'm not a short loser. Got Gaddy getting strong. Appreciate it. Good day in the office, man. Under Lane Kiffin, the Rebels' rushing attack has put up monster numbers. And it all starts with the energy of Kevin Smith. Come on! I mean, you can just see the passion that he has when he coaches um, and, and whatever he does. Stop working! Go! 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 Vertical! 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 I got one who can handle it, Quan. You can handle it. We gonna go next level. You can handle it. We gonna go next level. Create some space. Hey, this is practicing mechanics. I want to see you get the ball to the referee. Get your eyes on the signal. It's great juice. He walks into the meeting room every day, clapping, juiced up, ready to go. He gets the quarterbacks going. The quarterback giving us the ball. We not taking advantage of it. We looking for a place to lay down, bro. Hey, coach. We gonna say anything about the defensive players that tackle the offense every time we go out there and scrimmage? Don't worry about the running back. I'm just asking. You don't say anything about it. This ain't Conference USA, bro, all right? Go back to UCF wherever you're from. Hey, where's Simo? I bet you can't walk Simo. All right, come on, Mark. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. He brings up 24K once in a while. That was his name. You see, 24K wasn't just any player at UCF. Huge hole right side foot race. And glides past Stallings this time. Kevin Smith takes it 78 yards. The Hawaii Bowl when we played Nevada is when I finally like had a run longer than 30 yards. I had like a 70 or 78 yard run, maybe like a 200 yards, three touchdowns. And that was the last game of the season. That made me really feel like Okay, I, I belong. A lot of cue similarities, relentless competitor, uh, a million carries. I want to say maybe, I think he still has carried the most of anybody in a season. And once again, they'll just keep giving it to Smith. The foot race. He wins a touchdown, UCF. And at least they can see with their own eyes that, you know, I've been able to do things that they aspire to do and they eventually want to do, obviously, in their own way. I always just remember, hey, this Kevin Smith guy is putting up like video game numbers uh, down at UCF. His name's Kevin Smith, and if you've been sleeping on him, this is your wake-up call and it's overdue. He's the nation's leading rusher and scorer. To me, it was that team that, you know, kind of put UCF in national contention. It, it really made people take notice. Those were really good times. <laughs> Those were really good times. What would it mean to try to track down Barry Sanders' record that stood for a couple decades 
it just means a lot right now even being mentioned with Barry Sanders. But uh, if I catch him, man, I, it'll just be a lot for me. And, and I just want to thank my offensive lineman who, who would get me there if I broke that record. It's an outstanding achievement if I get it. I tried. I wanted it bad and uh, I fell short. But to even be in that category, to, to be chasing Barry Sanders, uh, it, it was all a, a, a surreal moment that uh, you know I'll never forget. Smith's NFL career was cut short due to injuries. However, the game wasn't going to let him walk away. I fell in this profession, for one, because my old head coach, George O'Leary, who I love to death, who really made me a coach by just going back to school and getting my degree. This is truly what God called me to do. And so my college career and my NFL career, I believe, happened just how it was supposed to. There's no better feeling than watching y'all go out there and, and go to work. There's no bigger cheerleader than me and Vaughn with the sense of pride that we got with this group. He has fun with them, but he makes those guys become very disciplined as runners. I think he's been invaluable to all the staff since he's been back. It's on the road, it's gonna go back and forth. But who can sustain and keep punching? And to have a guy like Coach Smith in your corner, it makes a lot of things easier because he knows what you should expect, he knows what's coming up, and how you should handle certain situations and he's just a great person to have. It's God's gift to me, and I just want to keep on giving a gift to the players that I come across, and that's the guys in my room and the guys on the team, you know, everybody, and, and be a positive impact. Coming into this week's game, the home team has won each of the last five matchups between the Razorbacks and the Rebels. The Arkansas Razorbacks come limping in here after losing three in a row, but we always know they're going to bring their A game. You're ready for it. You deserve it, but you got to go take it. You got to go pay rent every Saturday in the SEC, okay, and rent is due tonight. How hard can you play and how long can you play? And the only answer is how long you take. Last week means nothing. Set the tempo, let's play great football, let's put together a complete game, man. Pick each other up, go in there, one player, 100 plays, play our ass off, get this win. In a series that dates to 1908, we've come to expect the unexpected in this one. Upsets, overtimes, thrillers, and the Rebels take the field looking to continue the momentum they seized a week ago. True to form, the game started quite the opposite of predictions. Dart gets rid of it, too high and incomplete. And this Arkansas defense comes up with a big stop on the Rebels' first possession. With Arkansas gaining just as many yards as they would lose. And more. Back starts to lean, and they're going to throw a flag. A ball is fumbled on the ground. Sanders recovers it. Boy, an inauspicious start for the Razorbacks. On play action, Jefferson pressure, and they get to him. Jamon Gordon comes up with a sack. It's a loss of 12. Going to lob it underneath. Going to be caught by Armstrong. He hits to the far sidelines, gets to the 40, where he's knocked off his feet at the 38. Shy of the first down, but boy, he got a bunch of it. Fourth and four, ball on the left hash. There's the snap. Jefferson in the pocket, over the middle, has got his man caught at the 30, and they do get the first down. It's Ty Washington who hauls it in on a hitch route. And he lobs it downfield, is flag in the play, and it's still caught by Washington. And the fake and a little pass is going to be caught by Washington, and he goes into the end zone on the left side with no trouble. A three-yard strike, and Washington, who's pretty deep on the depth chart, has come out here and showed out for the Razorback. We don't panic, we don't flinch, we trust our training, we play harder than them. It's simple, okay? We just got to get off the field on third down, okay? The early hog lead left Lane Kiffin's squad in need of a spark. Third and 10 for the Razorbacks from their 25. Here comes pressure. Pick it, pick it, pick it. Lots of time, fires, intercepted! It's Siskook, he's taking it toward the end zone to get their hit and dropped at the four yard line. I don't know who KJ was looking at on that one, but a shiny Sistrunk with the pick and the Rebels have it first and go. It's Judkins in the backfield now. And he'll take the direct snap, looking for a seam. Found it, touchdown Ole Miss and the Rebels first lead of the night. The Landshark defense was hungry. Luckily, 
there were pigs in town. Thirty-three yard punt is correct, and Ole Miss with great field position here. Go make a play. Go play. Go spark play. Play. They've been climbing uphill for most of the night, except for the short field they had, filing the cis truck interception. Over the middle for a first down. Dayton Wade, long run. Wade goes in motion, toss pitch to Wade. He's following Kern off the left side. He dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. So after going down 7-0, the Rebels did have a 17-0 run to take a 17-7 lead in at the half. Can't just chill now. We finna go deep, it's gonna go, and then we gonna go. We don't have time to ease our way. Go get four, go get five. We can't miss when we got a chance to go six. How good, love y'all, let's run. good, bats on three, bats on three. One, two, three, bats. bats. And here's the snap. Jefferson wants to throw wide open and hit route of the 37, the 40, 47 yard line. And it's a first down with the Razorbacks. Jefferson wants to throw deep out. It's got a man over here and it's gonna be caught on the Ole Miss sidelines at the 42-yard line for a first down. It's broke. Snap back and down. The kick is on its way. Looks like it might be short. Let's see, did he get it? He got, got it. it. Man, I was hoping, but he got it through there just a little bit. A big kick there. Benny trying to get it back, and they'll shove the entire pile to first down territory, it seems. And there's the kick, and the kick is good. So Arkansas has cut it to four. It's Ole Miss 17, Arkansas 13. The third quarter was all hogs. Pressure coming, and they take that down. And Arkansas has seized momentum with a long field goal, and now a sack from Malik Chavis. And it carried into the fourth. Looking for a screen to Sanders. Turns up field, he's got a first down. Rocket Sanders takes it all the way down to the 21. And a second and six, Jefferson caught. Arkansas touchdown, Ty Washington. What a play by KJ Jefferson. Razorbacks got a little whoop pick, Suey going a little life in the stadium for the Hawks right now with their team and fans. Man, look at this time, bro. How many possessions do we have? I don't have one this high. Judkins working his way across the 30 to the 33 yard line. We'll have six yards. Guys were grabbing at him. He fortunately with his strength was able to pull it forward. Here's Judkins. Finds a huge hole. Now he's off to the races. And they track him down at the 30 yard line. Sliding catch made for a first down by Watkins. Bentley picks up the first down. Touchdown, Ole Miss. And the Rebels back in front. Go, man. Dart. Got a man open, Watkins on the far side on a deep hitch, and he catches it and has the first down. Caught it about the 46, turned and got to the 50. Bentley breaks to the outside, 25, 20, 15, 10, five. He's knocked out of bounds around the one or two yard line. We'll see where they officially spot it. Looks like the three. What a run by Ulysses Bentley, the fourth. Here's the field goal, and Davis drills it through. It's a little short chip shot, about 24 yards or so. Jefferson hands off to Rocket Sanders, a menace against these Rebels last year, but held in check tonight. Three-man rush, here comes a fourth. They got him in trouble. Jefferson's in the backfield. He's hit. He goes down. What a play by the Ole Miss defense. Isaac Ukwu and Ashante Sistrunk met at the quarterback and said, let's take the big man down. Stingy doesn't begin to describe Pete Golding's defense versus the Hogs. Right 
four. A season high five sacks and just 36 yards allowed on the ground gave the home standing Rebs the upper hand all night long. Over the middle. And this one is over. What a win for the Ole Miss Rebel. All right, glory to God. We see all oh, bye week. We got a bye week. We see all the Auburn in two weeks. Oh, they'll go down. We're down them pigs. We heading into this bye week winners, and we're going to come out winners. That's all I'm going to say. Hotty tiny, man. Hotty tiny. I was too excited. I was laughing at KJ the whole time. It's not always pretty sometimes. Sometimes great teams just got to find a way, and that's what we did. Fourth quarter, we were down, came back, and won it. That's, that's what we do. All right, listen up. All right, guys, that's a hell of a team win right there, man. I mean, this is the SEC. It is hard to come back from an emotional game like last week, okay? And the way to play today, all right, wasn't pretty for a lot of the time early, okay? And you got to do that. You gotta win these type of games. They happen in this conference. They ain't all gonna be all right the way that you want them to go. So I commend you for the way that you played. We gotta keep improving, all right? But after losing early like that to be five and one at the buys, the best that you can do, and you went one and zero today. So I commend you guys hanging in there. Where is John Saunders for catching the ball? Where you at? Yeah. Don't you know when you win the game with a turnover, you gotta give a speech. Speech, 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 speech. One and zero. That's all I need, a little speed trainer, man, you know? That pit was good, but I he, at still, least I called he it. still runs the 4-7. No, 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 no. We're going into the bye week feeling good, man. We're finna get healthy. We're finna just keep shaking back, man. Keep building on that win, man. 1-0 every week, man. Yes, sir. See y'all in two weeks.